Alrighty guys, well, yeah, a lot has happened. Um, oh yeah, like I said in the last video that came out, just the, uh, what was it, the for fun game where we did the farming let's play type of a thing, uh, or farming let's play, the uh, farming valley modded ser uh, game. Uh, yeah, I've been sick for like the last two weeks and it's just, uh, it's been a lot. So, as you can see, I have another right shovel, or shovel, what the, sword, oh my goodness, I've got my netherite stuff back. Yeah, so, I would have this recorded, but my computer ran out of storage, and, yeah. So basically what happened is, we went to the nether, I ended up finding the bastion, and then died in the bastion. Then I went a different direction and found a different bastion, thinking it was the bastion over here. Yeah, it was a complete mess. Finally went back and watched the video again and realized over here was the bastion. And yeah, but it stopped recording me going and getting my stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna work on clearing out my uh, storage on my computers and go from there. But you can probably already see some major differences. A, those towers now are A, taller, and that one is now up there as well with a top, and they all have the blackstone tops just and just like the ones we did over there. That one also, as well as a few others, let's just pop up our uh, render distance, and you can see a little bit further. But as you can see, that one's got it, that one, that one, that one. All of these have their black tops now, which is so nice to have everything just uniform across, as well as these bridges are new and this little out peak thing, crow's nest, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, um, they're obviously not done. We just have end rods lighting them and there's, yeah, so it's kind of, it's a work in progress, but I'm liking it. This has to go up further and all that fun stuff. But it's definitely coming along, and I'm sorry, guys, about my voice. <laughs> I'm still sick. I'm just trying to power through some of this to try and get some videos out for you guys. And, yeah. So, we've got this now, which I don't remember if this was here or not before. I think it might have been. We've added this new house over here, as well as this whole new area with a river with bridges over said river, little bushes, some custom trees, which I really am happy with, as well as tons more house and this. So this pipe basically comes out of the castle, draining water into here, as well as a little uh, water meal, whatever you want to call it, whatever they're called, the turn for electricity. Yeah, it's a little wheelhouse few more houses. They're not completely done. I need to add some more string here and there. A little tree right here. The path isn't complete quite yet. A little pond here that feeds into the river as well. And yeah, lots of little bushes and all of that. A little bridge here. Another little building. And a few more. With this building over here, we took inspiration from the uh, desert temple, just a little bit. I'm not sure how much I love. It's kind of a pinky color, which I think is fine. Um, but very tiny, no windows yet, not finished. Then we did this little booth type of a thing. So, and then this just kind of comes to the waterway. And then we've got little spots where the water or the little island type things There'll be a bridge right here over top of this waterfall that goes down into the ocean. But I really like this tree. This custom tree I think turned out very nice and I really like it. And we moved our tree farm to over here for now because we needed some more leaves and stuff like that. So let's pop on over here. This tower is now done. These towers are now done. That one's done. I really like this design. I'm debating on doing it to this one as well. This tower is done here. This one's done. And we added this whole outcrop 
of towers that surround this little waterway, which I'm really liking. Um, I was thinking maybe like ships would come in and then they could get into the castle from here, but it's so shallow and it's such a small area, big ships wouldn't actually be able to do it. So maybe it's like a small ship docking area, something along those lines, I'm not 100% sure. We'll figure it out and go from there. But for now, the towers are pretty much done. This one still has some more to work on, but it's getting there. So if we hop up here, all of these ones are now done as well and to their perspective heights. I staggered them a little. So this is the tallest, then that one, and then that one, which I really like. And then these towers have their tops and these have their tops now. Because so all of this was wide open prior and now it all has a nice top and I really like it. And then we grassed this area and we did this little, I don't know what it's called. And then this little area, and then this goes down into where the villages are so they can get up to this area and walk around and all that. But then this has its tower. I need to add one more layer of blackstone stairs to this and then it'll be done. Haven't done really anything over there once again. <laughs> We pretty much are never doing anything over there nowadays, it seems, um, but we're getting there. So let's pop down here and sleep. And if we run over here, ouch, we have made a new map. So this was the old map. And then we moved to this map. And so there's that outcropping, but there's still some things not finished. Can you move? We're trying, we're trying to look at this. Thank you. And yeah, so yeah, then we made this map. Huge difference. Like those black lines right there, like stand out so much wet, better. It's crazy. And then this is filled in. And then we did this. The pillager outpost now has a little pillager face. Our chest area has a little chest. Uh, where our nether portal is has a little nether portal. So just making it easier for you guys when you get this map, if you end up getting it. And yeah, so, and then this is our whole new waterway system that goes down into the ocean, which I really, really like. So as you can see, the bridges all match. So anything that has a bridge has this little red and yellowy tan design, which is the nether brick and the stone or the uh, <clears throat> sandstone. And then we added a little bit more here or so far. We haven't. It's uh, not on this map, but it'll be on another one. So. Yeah, it's coming along and I'm really, really liking it. But I wanted to show you this room. We found a purpose for it. We're gonna make a massive map. I've been collecting all of the uh, item frames for it, but this will be a massive map of the world. And I'm super excited to get going on that. But that will be another episode. We've got a lot to show you guys because in the nether, we have been working on something huge. This will look different. Very, very different. It's all grassed off. What the heck? So I've been adding more details to this section, this area. We've got a few trees, some grass. This whole thing is hollowed out like a little crazy, right? Yeah, we're just taking a piece of the overworld and putting it in the nether. So as you can see, we're not quite finished. We still have a little bit more to do on this corner, but it's coming along. For the most part, everywhere else is done. I think there's some spots right up there that I missed, but it's pretty much done. Ooh, crap. He's looking at his friend's sword.
they were useless. Anyways, but yeah, I think it's turning out quite nice. I mean, we're literally taking a chunk out of, so we've got a little bit more to do down there, but we've got like gold, iron, coal, like everything is in this. It's coming along. It really is. So, I wanted to take you to one last place that we have been working on. And, yeah, because if you remember, literally last episode, we fought the Wither, um, and we made a beacon. But we haven't used said beacon. We're going to go flying in the overworld instead. But if you just take a flight over this way, past this area, past the savanna, and right into the desert. There's our beacon right there. We've had a few, two wandering traders come. That's how long we've been out here. Two wandering traders. We've got little pigs right now and a hole. This thing is massive. We are down, I think, Y level 16 now? 18. Y level 18, and that's Y level like 70 something. So I had to move the beacon from the top because it wouldn't reach anymore. And then we've got this massive staircase going all the way up. But we have just been mining and mining and mining and mining and mining and mining and mining and, mining and finding caves after caves after caves and mobs and all sorts of stuff because we need resources. We've got a lot of resources, but we need more stone to finish off all those towers, which now we're pretty much finished off. And we need sandstone for the new sand village. So we got this much dirt, andesite, sandstone, sand. Uh, <clears throat> these are our resources we've gotten. So one, two, three, four, five, almost six stacks of iron one two three four five six seven eight stacks of coal 15 diamond ore but we also have some that I accidentally mined with uh, just a regular pickaxe with my fortune one I don't remember some lapis redstone gold all of that so I think I already moved the other diamonds yeah I took the diamonds already but we had like six or nine more something like that some gravel Diorite, all of that fun stuff. Granite, stone, stone, a little bit of cobblestone. Stone that I've already taken from. Stone, 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 stone. That one's not quite there. A little bit in here, stone and stone. So it's been a lot. I was wondering what that was. So yeah, we obviously still have some more lapis and all of that, but I figured might as well just dig straight down and get this massive pit and make it a mining district uh, for all of the stuff we need. So that's what I did. So yeah, this is what our beacon's been being used for is haste. And we've been undermining all of this to get more sandstone as we needed it. And yeah, so now it's basically just moving some of this over as we need it. We've been cooking up any food we get. And then this just has some carrots in it to breed these guys. Then our trader llamas. And yeah, it's been fun. And the other two chests with the emeralds on it, that's just the stuff that I had on me. And each time I come over here, I just drop off. So there's a ton of just crap in there. <laughs> So it's not too far from our base, but I think that's fine. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And frankly, if we made it into like an actual mining station, it might be good, like how they'd actually do it. So obviously our towers still need some detailing on some of them, but for the most part, they are capped off at least. So, and this is the area I've been working on with more pathways and Kind of that sort of stuff. So I've definitely been working on a lot of stuff while I've been gone. As you saw those few little clips in the beginning, that was over five hours of video that was able to record. Then my storage filled and it stopped recording. I probably would have had close to 10 hours of just recording, which I don't record everything. And so, yeah, I've been playing on this quite a while that without anything 
actually being recorded, and so, yeah, too much fun. Looks like there's a uh, some skeletons, some bats, a few things down there. But our castle is coming together. I'm liking it a lot. I'm enjoying, ooh, looks like we're going over the edge. I'm enjoying working on it. We obviously need to add like staircases in here and there's definitely other things. We have to finish this area over here and this whole farming area. We need to finish the sand village and we just capped off these walkways, which is nice. We need to finish off this area and all that area back in there. Fill it in with just kind of some stuff that we want to make work for us in here, as well as getting this room under here as our map room. But it is coming along and it's not too far off from what I think could be potentially done um, with like actual building structure wise. Um, yeah, we've got to remove a turtle farm because we already have another one. We need to remove all this sugar cane too because we've got a sugar cane farm, but uh, we just, for whatever reason, had kept that sugar cane there for so long. And yeah. So this is what I've been doing and working on. Coming up soon is going to be that map wall. And I know I haven't done a video on how to make one of these homes or buildings and structures. Looks like a creeper might have blown up. But that will be coming very, very soon. I'm just trying to kick this sickness like, uh, it's just beating me up. It's bad. I don't like it's ah. I get sick usually about once a year and when I do it hits me hard I get sick with multiple things at once and potentially even uh, like back to back so I get like a cold and then I get a chest cold and then I get a head cold and then I get the flu and then I get this and that and the other like it just kind of back to back or there's so many things that it's like oh can you just please go away it's like two, three, maybe even a month that I'm just out because I'm so sick. Oh, whoops. And it just is not fun, not enjoyable whatsoever, but kind of is what it is, and you've got to deal with it. And then <sighs> once I've dealt with it, then I'm good to go for another year usually. Sometimes I get sick in the middle of the year as well, sometimes not, just kind of depends. And it's usually after winter. Like, I don't know why. It's, it seems like most people get sick, like, when winter comes, but I get sick when winter goes. Um, but, yeah, so it's been about two weeks so far, so we got another two, maybe. Hopefully I can kick it before that. Uh, but we will see, and we will get this village done, because there's a lot more buildings to do. They just take hours upon hours to build every single one. They're small, but there's so many details. Like I've been pushing off doing in interiors because they take so long. And so it's like even just small interiors, uh, I keep doing that. Small interiors like this still take a while and it's it just takes a while. And then coming up with the ideas and then building it and adding on and changing and it just takes a while. And so it's like I still have to furnish a lot of these buildings, but I wouldn't have half as many buildings up if I furnished each one at the exact same time in the beginning, like I was originally. Cause like this one, pretty much furnished. This is supposed to be kind of like maybe a dance floor or a uh, area for a band or something that's gonna be like a bar or a, uh, the waiting area. You can sit here while you're waiting to be seated for your food. And then you come up here, there's more seating and then a little balcony. And so it's like, this is all furnished, but if I didn't furnish this, I could have gotten another one, maybe even two structures built with no interior. So it's like this town hall, nothing's in it except for the staircase that goes upstairs. And yeah, and then this, but that's technically part of the exterior look of it. So it's like, 
it's difficult because of how long it takes to do everything when you're doing stuff like this. And then I've got underground stuff that you guys have seen. I showed you the uh, um, underground vault for this place. Um, and so it's like just a matter of trying to get it done. And then I'm starting this section of it as well and did this river. This took a long time to get all the water how I wanted it and all of that, but I think it turned out pretty well. Little bridges, I love the bushes. I think they've turned out pretty nice as well as the little island type things in the middle, but I don't think it's gonna go too much further this way. I think this is kind of gonna be the edge of the village. And then I've been doing walls here so the pillagers can't come through, but I need to figure out a better system for them not to be able to come through and maybe just double carpet it but making it so they don't come in and attack villagers. <laughs> Cause we're making, what is this? One village here, one over there, one inside. There's like four villages in this area now. And so it's a little risky being this close to a pillager outpost, but I just, I really wanted the pillager outpost to be right here. Like I thought it was cool to build around and we're protecting and against ourselves, against them, as well as maybe even another kingdom somewhere else. I don't know, we'll see. But lots of lore that you can add to your builds and just kind of fun. But yeah, I've got to furnish a lot of these builds still. And kind of go from there, but I think Overall, this place is turning out quite nicely, and it's just, it's kind of fun to have a different style right next to another, like, two different styles. Really close together, and they blend into each other, and this will be, like, a trading post for the village, like I've talked about. This is where I put the vines. Um, but it's like, this is the castle, then there's this little village, there's another village over here, because this is the farming district. And so it's like, this one's a little more protected by the castle because this is where the castle's food comes from. But whereas this one is not as protected, they've got these coming out just to kind of watch over, but it's more so kind of keeping them out of the castle. They may not trust these guys as much. I don't know, it's kind of a... They may not trust them as much, we'll see. But they've got these watchtowers. It's, is it to protect the village or is it more to watch the village? And so it's this one out here kind of watches the ocean, but it also watches the village. So Castle may not like these people too much, but they're here anyways, and they trade with the castle. They bring goods, and the castle gives them goods. And so they're a valuable part of the economy here. But the castle may not like them too much. And so they're not really protected by the castle, and they're really just kind of they've been put here after the castle this wall was here first and now this comes in and so there's definitely seems like there's some feelings against them so definitely lore and obviously with your builds put your lore into it i'm adding extra things to here trying some things out that's why this just looks kind of weird right now but it's not going to stay this weird flat rounded yeah thing It'll be adjusted and changed as we go. And yeah, we've still got our witch and spider, Benjamin and Susanna. And I realized I did leave part of the Christmas tree and I might just leave that just to be part of what was once there. And I kind of like that. So anyways, guys, this has been our village as well as our castle, as well as just everything we've built pretty much in this world. I mean, there's a few things elsewhere that we've built and then in the nether as well, but this is pretty much the main portion of our building and I've done a lot while I've been away. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video and the next episode. So if you would like the video, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button while you're there and that bell icon to be notified when I post another video. So we'll see you guys next time. 
Thank you, and have yourselves a wonderful, fantastic day. Bye!